Uh, every Tuesday, traffic expert Jason Luber tackles a question driving you crazy. And this week, Jason, it's about a road that still <laughs> isn't paved. Yeah, it's way out east. It's Jewel Avenue, and it is paved yeah. most of the way over to Powhatan. And then it's the last couple mm. of miles that remains unpaved. And it's Tim from Murphy Creek who wrote to me saying, what's driving you crazy? Jason, if you get a chance, look at the last two miles of Jewel Avenue. I recall funds were appropriated to resurface and improve drainage along there. Well, I took your advice, Tim, drove that dirt section of Jewel east of Powhatan Road to the dead end at Watkins Road. There isn't much out there, just a couple of homes, some tumbleweeds, occasional semi kicking up dirt, as you'll see here in just a second. Uh, the ride for me wasn't bad. I, I never encountered any of the washboarding or ripples that makes the road like that real bumpy. About 10 years ago, Arapahoe County improved the drainage and did some road grading to make it smoother, but not long after that part of Jewel Avenue was annexed by the city of Aurora. They maintain it. They tell me they have not appropriated any city funds for any future improvements, and I'm told any improvement such as paving would be driven by development in that area and would be the responsibility of the developers. I checked and there are not any current plans under review in that area for development. Cities recently have let build developers build out infrastructure and then rec mm -hmm. recoup the cost from PIF fees, public improvement mm -hmm. fees, uh, and you've shopped near Southlands. You've probably seen those PIF fees on your receipt. You can get more details on this story on mm -hmm. uh, the Driving You Crazy page right now on Denver7.com. Just click Denver 7 Traffic. Yeah. Right. Won't be long before development is headed yeah. that way. Right, no, there's a yeah. lot of development out east of E470. Mm -hmm.